I think we're not just opening a new chapter for Tesla, we're starting a new book. According to Musk, Tesla plans to change the cathode refinery process for their self-developed 4,680 cell. Additionally, they are advancing their lithium refinery in South Texas. Musk emphasized that Tesla's new approach to refining is dramatically different from industry standard methods, describing it as night and day. This new manufacturing process will allow Tesla to produce 4,680 cells at a breakneck speed while simultaneously improving their quality. Yes, we're making steady progress. We also have the cathode refinery, which you can see behind the main factory. In the picture, you can see the cathode refinery, and then there's the lithium refinery in South Texas. Furthermore, Tesla plans to leverage their humanoid robot Optimus in their factories to accelerate battery production. However, this is just the beginning, and the real plan is far more ambitious. Musk revealed that next year, Tesla plans to have a few thousand robots working across their factories. He envisions a future where there is at least one robot per human and possibly even more. Welcome to Tesla Global, the home of Tesla news from around the world. Let's get into the video. I believe everyone in the world will want one, literally everyone. Beyond personal use, there will also be robots in various industries manufacturing goods. I envision a future where the ratio of humanoid robots to humans could be at least two to one, or at the very least one to one. This means there could be around 10 billion humanoid robots globally. Tesla aims to produce about a billion robots per year, targeting at least 10% of the market. Musk mentioned that at high production scales, each robot could cost around $10,000 to produce, with a selling price of $20,000 each. This could potentially result in a trillion dollars in profit annually and drive Tesla's valuation to $25 trillion dollars. Of course, this is a bold prediction from Musk, who often struggles to meet his timelines. However, even achieving just 10% of this goal would significantly impact the company's operations and financial standing. Now, back to the battery story. What new innovations is Tesla bringing to the table? Why has the race intensified and who currently leads the market in battery advancements? Stay tuned for revelations that you have never heard before. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Regarding the new upgrade to the old tech, all of the 4,680 cells are currently used in the Cybertruck. Tesla aims to ramp up production to 20,500 units per week by the end of the year, as announced on X. To achieve this ambitious target, they need to produce at least 3.4 million battery cells, since a single Cybertruck requires at least 1,600 battery cells. Alongside the updates to the manufacturing process mentioned earlier, Tesla has also made significant strides in enhancing the performance of its 4,680 battery. At the beginning of 2024, Joe Techum, a drone pilot known for his invaluable footage from Giga Texas reported on the evolving battery chemistry of Tesla's 4680 battery. As of late 2023, the cathode material for the 4680 battery was composed of NMC 811, consisting of 80% nickel, 10% lithium, and 10% cobalt. However, Tesla is now transitioning to NMC 955 in 2024. They are also experimenting with asymmetric lamination, where one side of the laminated material is thicker than the other. Additionally, while NMC 955 represents the latest chemical composition, Tesla is also exploring NMC 973, which may be introduced later in 2024. Beyond the development of the 4680 battery, Tesla has made significant investments in lithium battery cell production. 
Joe Tecum recently shared images showing progress on Tesla's $375 million lithium plant near Corpus Christi, Texas. This facility, one of the first of its kind in the United States, is set to produce battery-grade lithium. The facility is located right off Highway 77 between Robstown and Driscoll, and current observations suggest it is not yet ready to produce any lithium feedstocks. Nevertheless, local officials are encouraged by the progress being made at the site. Tesla is expanding its battery production capabilities with strategic moves in different locations. In addition to their efforts with the 4,680 battery and lithium production in Texas, Tesla plans to establish another facility for LFP batteries. While CATL personnel will assist with setting up the equipment, they will not be directly involved beyond this phase. This move is crucial for Tesla to leverage tax credits and integrate these American-made LFP cells into their vehicles in the near future. Looking further ahead, Tesla is also exploring the possibility of opening a battery plant in Indonesia. The country holds the world's largest reserves of nickel ore, a key component in NMC, nickel-manganese cobalt, chemistry used in batteries. As of 2022, Indonesia already supplied 48% of global nickel demand, with projections suggesting this could rise to 75% by 2030, according to Jakarta. However, at this point, any such move by Tesla to set up a factory in Indonesia awaits further official confirmation and developments. That wraps up the update on Tesla's new battery technology. As mentioned earlier, Tesla isn't the only player in this field. Many other companies have also entered the fray. In the next segment, we'll explore these technologies from various companies and compare them to Tesla's innovation to determine which one might emerge as superior. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this topic. Why has the race become hotter? We're seeing new battery technologies showcased daily on YouTube, often touted as game changers or industry shakers by influencers like Sam Evans from The Electric Viking. However, here we aim to provide a more objective view rather than adding to the hype. However, they are also less energy-dense, prompting the industry to pursue two main strategies for advancing battery technology. First, enhancing LFP cells to address weaknesses, and second, developing entirely new battery chemistries. So let's talk about the first type. Recently, BYD and KTL have teamed up to launch batteries capable of 6C fast charging, marking a significant advancement in battery technology. According to local media reports, BYD is set to introduce the lithium iron phosphate blade battery 2.0 in the latter half of this year, designed to support a 6C charge rate. On February 27, 2024, the Zer 001 debuted in China, featuring KTL's new Shank battery, which supports 5C charging. The Zer 001 can charge from 10 to 80% in just 11.5 minutes, providing a 472 km range based on CLTC testing. In April, KTL introduced the Shankan Plus, boasting an energy density of 205 watt-hours per kilogram and enabling an EV to achieve a range of 1,000 kilometers. Notably, the Shankan Plus only charges at 4C. However, rapid charging speeds must be supported by adequate charging infrastructure. To achieve 4C or 5C charging rates, the power output needs to be at least 360 kilowatts, highlighting the need for upgraded infrastructure to accommodate these faster charging capabilities. In February, Huawei introduced its 600 kilowatts ultra-fast EV charger, setting a new benchmark. La Auto also aims to establish 5,000 supercharging stations capable of supporting 5C charging by 2025. In conclusion, the introduction of the 6C battery by KTL and BYD represents a significant advancement for LFP cells this year. 
This innovation aims to enhance charging speeds, a key advantage of LFP batteries over other types and a feature highly desired by customers. However, it does not address the challenge of energy density, prompting many companies to explore alternative battery chemistries such as solid-state or sodium batteries, which I have already covered in two videos. It is worth noting that these alternative batteries still have a long way to go from the theoretical and lab testing stages to practical real-world application. That's the end of today's video about Tesla's battery. If you're new to Tesla Global, please leave a like and subscribe. So, returning to the question from the beginning, who currently leads battery development? Well, as long as the industry continues to rely on LFP chemistry, then it will always be a name from China. Following closely behind, Chinese company BYD secured second place with a 15.8% market share, while South Korean LG Energy Solution held 13.6%. Tesla is investing heavily in LFP cell development and new facilities, raising the hope that someday they can become a major player in the battery manufacturing industry, not only supplying batteries for their own cars, but also for other brands. So, what are your thoughts? Can Tesla make it? Thanks for watching Tesla Global. See you in the next one.